I was not a fan of New York Airport. It was hard to get around and I had to change airlines, go check in with Iceland Air. They made me check my bag in and I had to go back through security after trying to find where to go because the airport was so big. I had to take different trams to get to the terminal I needed to go, go through. Thankfully, I made it. I was a little concerned because there was a winter storm coming into New York and I did get out in time for that. So I flew Iceland Air and did the three-day layover into Iceland on the way home. I'll be posting that video later. We flew over Greenland. It was absolutely beautiful. It was breathtaking. Even at night, I didn't get much sleep between looking out the window and then I had a four-year-old kid next to me who kept wanting to kick me and spread across everybody and put his legs up on me while the mother and father slept. Ah, the joys of traveling. Finally made it to Iceland. Um, Iceland was not bad. It was just cold. Um, I think I had a couple hour layover here and I used these tunnels up above the um, jetway to get on and off. Um, and then you had to take a shuttle bus to the main airport terminal. And then the next stop was Helsinki. Um, there again, it was a pretty smooth, about a couple hour layover. And then on to Romania. And one thing I did not mention is a few weeks prior to my trip, Iceland Air pulled out of DFW Airport. I was supposed to be leaving out of there. They canceled on me and I panicked. I freaked. I made them rebook me. So they booked me on American and they reconnected me through Newark. I was supposed to have direct flight to Iceland until the pullout happened. But it worked out. Everything was fine and I made, made every flight and every connection. So food was extra purchase on Norwegian Air. I think for this little meal it was like five bucks. Um, I was starving, needed some food. Um, beautiful colors appeared across the sky at sunset. I know pictures don't do it justice as they never do, but it was just absolutely beautiful. It had to do with the cold air making the colors in the sky. So I mean, it just turned just absolutely pink. And it was just absolutely beautiful. I'm sure I look as tired as I felt after 24 hour trip and then I had four different connections and three different airlines. 24 hours later, I finally made my destination. Next adventure is onto the Arctic Snow Hotel where I'll be staying the night. 